Hi guys! Welcome back to Fairy Tutorials. In today's episode, we'll be looking at water soluble vitamins, their sources, functions, scientific names, and deficiency diseases. Stay tuned! and health and we're looking at content 6 which is entitled vitamins and in today's episode we're zooming in on the water soluble vitamins now let's take a look at our focus points so we'll be looking at the classification of vitamins types of water soluble vitamins their chemical names their function sources and also deficiencies learning objective by the end of the session you should be able to discuss the classification food sources deficiencies and functions of water soluble vitamins now let us kick things off with the classification of vitamins now vitamins are classified as either fat soluble which are vitamins a d E and K, we use ADEC for short, or water soluble, which is the vitamin B complex, or we may say the vitamin group, the vitamin B group, and also vitamin C. Now, guys, we're going to zoom in and explore the different types of water soluble vitamins. And as I said before, we're going to explore their chemical names, their functions, sources, and their deficiencies. Good. We're kicking things off with vitamin B1. And the scientific or the chemical name for vit vitamin B1 is thiamine. Now, the functions of thiamine are it helps to convert carbohydrates to energy. It also plays a role in muscle contraction and conduction of nerves signals. Now, as it relates to the deficiency, if we are having lack of or our body is unable to absorb and digest this particular di uh, vitamin, which is vitamin B1 or thiamine, the scientific name, persons may experience fatigue nausea, depression, nerve damage, loss of appetite, muscular weakness, severe nervous disorder, general weakness, and also wasting. Now, wasting of the muscles and weakness is a condition called beriberi. Now, foods rich in vitamins are pork, beef, liver, peas, seeds, legumes, whole grain products and oatmeal good now let us look at the condition of beriberi right and this is a lack of having vitamin b1 in the diet no severe deficiency leads to the disease beriberi with this condition a patient may become exhausted and loses weight muscle become weak and especially in the legs and as you notice here this young man is walking with a with a crutch because the legs are so weak all right our next water soluble vitamin is vitamin b2 and the scientific name is riboflavin or we may say riboflavin right now the functions are it is key to metabolism good and also red blood cells it is also necessary for normal embryo development important in the breakdown of amino acids and carbohydrates now as it relates to the deficiency diseases or the deficiencies are resulting from a lack of vitamin b2 or riboflavin in the diet are a failure to grow skin disorders may occur and disorder of the outer membrane of the eye 
which is called conjunctivitis or the tongue may swell mouth and lips become sore all right now food sources of vitamin b2 or riboflavin are animal sources include milk yogurt cheese meat and eggs as it relates to the plant sources they include whole grain breads and green leafy vegetables all right our next vitamin is vitamin b12 the scientific name is cobalamin right now the functions of cobalamin are it helps with nervous system also red blood cells and dna synthesis the deficiency is nervous system disorders and also anemia right now previously we have learned about the iron deficiency anemia that is when the body is lacking the mineral iron, right? There's also a particular anemia that is associated with when we're lacking vitamin B12, right? And we'll look at this uh, anemia in the next slide. Now, sources of cobalamin R or vitamin 12 are only found in animal products. And they are meat, fish, poultry, eggs, milk products and clams now guys a deficiency of cobalamin results in megaloblastic anemia this may occur in patients with dietary disorders or in old age right now when we have a lack of iron in the diet or in the body we have iron deficiency anemia now, as it relates to cobalamin or vitamin B12, this type of anemia is known as the megaloblastic anemia. As the name mega suggests, the red blood cells, they enlarge, right? Whereas with iron deficiency anemia, the red blood cells are lacking, right? Too little red blood cells. All right. Now, sources of B12, as we said before, are only from animal sources. And they are milk, eggs, meat, poultry, and oysters, right? Now, it is very important to, for persons who, for strict vegetarians, to also take supplements of this particular nutrient because it is very important to have in the diet. Good? Now, our next B vitamin we're looking at is folic acid. In brackets, we have folicin or folate, good? And the functions is, the, it is a key role in red blood cell formation and cell division. So you notice that most of the B vitamins, the vitamin B complex and the vitamin B group, they have a key role in the formation of red blood cells and also metabolism good now a deficiency in folic acid or folate can also result in digestive disorders anemia right now foods are leafy dark green vegetables also found in liver beans peas asparagus oranges and avocado as well as you can see in their, the picture there um cantaloupe, bread, cereals, um, okra, oranges. All right. Now, let us look at the deficiency in folate in more detail. Now, a deficiency of folate may result in failure to grow properly. Megaloblastic anemia, where the red blood cells become enlarged and cannot give up their oxygen properly for the body cells good also in early pregnancy it may cause a condition called spina bifida in the baby which will cause a permanent disability right now we have different stages of spina bifida persons who are affected by this deficiency babies who are affected by deficiency um, may have a, a patch of hair on their back if the symptom is mild and in severe cases as you can see in the image here there's a perugion in the in the um vertebra in this in the spine and as a result there is liquid there is fluid in that 
um, perusion and guess what these babies they are permanently disabled they have to be wheelchair bone right and that is why folate or folic acid is very important for pregnant women to have balance and also because oftentimes it is not adequate from the food that we get you may find out that pregnant women will have to take um, supplements of the folic acid all right because it's very important now we're looking at vitamin c and the scientific name for vitamin c is ascorbic acid now let's exp let, let's explore the functions now vitamin c is important to bone health blood vessel health cell structure and also very importantly the absorption of iron it maintains healthy skin blood vessels bones and cartilage it also helps very important too with wound healing so when you get a cut vitamin the ascorbic acid or vitamin c helps to heal the wound quickly now, foods that are rich in ascorbic acid or vitamin C are melons, berries, tomatoes, potatoes, broccoli, fortified juices, kiwi, mangoes, yellow bell peppers, citrus fruits, strawberries, cherries, and the list goes on. Lemon, lime, those acidic uh, fruits are very rich in ascorbic acid. Now, additional sources. Here we have excellent sources being displayed in the picture as well. Now a deficiency. A severe deficiency can lead to the disease called scurvy. Additionally, cuts and wounds will fail to heal properly. Scar tissue may weaken and break open. So for example, if someone gets a cut and then it takes a while to heal, but when the wound finally heal, guys, if they are lacking in the vitamin C, that wound can also break open again, right? No anemia. Why anemia? Can you tell why? Yes. A lack of vitamin C can result in anemia because iron is not absorbed properly without vitamin C. All right, now it's time for your activity. Complete the following table. So in the first column, we have types of water-soluble vitamins. So we have looked at the different types of B vitamins, or we may say the B group or the B complex, and also vitamin C. So we have looked at them all, as well as their scientific name. We're look we have looked at their food sources, their functions, and also their deficiencies. So you should be able to ace this table, all right? You are awesome. You've made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share with persons who you know will find this information useful. Thank you for making it Ferris Tutorials.